experience, uh, despite the, you know, what just transpired out there. Can you just talk to me about what your emotions are coming out of something like that? Are you disappointed or are you just ready to get back in there? How are you feeling? Man, I just I just want to fight. You know, uh, of course I'm disappointed for a fight to end like that. You know, it's not it's not a win, it's not a loss, but it's just you know like a slip, I guess. I don't I don't even know what you would really call that. It's just a accident, you know. And he didn't want to fight anymore. He couldn't fight through it, so uh, fight's over. And I guess uh, from your perspective, did you feel like that was low? Did you feel like you, know, you said he didn't want to fight? When you saw you know what he was acting, was there something? I'm not going to try to guess on how he, his nuts feel, you know what I mean? I've been hitting the nuts in, three times in a fight, and I continued to fight every single time because I, I just wasn't going to lose a, leave a fight like that. Um, that's, that's up to his discretion, you know, so I'm not going to make a, a judgment on what his body feels like after I threw a knee. It was on accident. I didn't mean that for it to happen like that. He chose not to fight. That's, that's up to him. He, gotta know, he only knows how his body feels. One hundred percent. I mean, I'm, that's what that's what's most upsetting. You know, what I mean, you got you get knocked out. You want to get up and get back on the horse. You want to get back in the cage. Prove to yourself that you you stood a man. Prove to everybody else that you stood a man. So, of course, I wanted to go out there and make a show, get a finish, and and get a win. You know. Oh yeah, there was gonna, I was going to dominate the man on top. I, after I took him down once, it was real easy. I got the side side control. Uh, the fight was over to, in my eyes, as far as I knew. I was going to really go for more striking that once I had already got him down and tired him out. So I was really looking forward to the second round, just controlling him and seeing what was going to happen. With that, are you trying to make, you know, just get back in there as soon as possible? Are you going to take some time off? What do you think? Before we even sat down, I asked Mike, man, when can I get back in the cage? I obviously didn't take any damage. I'm ready to fight. You know, that's, that's what I get paid to do. That's my job. So I'm ready to fight any time now. Uh, that's not up to me, you know. I, I, my job is just to get back into training, get ready for the next fight, next opponent. Um, I, I don't really know how they handle no contests. I've never been in this situation before, so uh, I don't know what that really, where that puts me. I'm just ready to fight. Got it. So my only other question was that: so you had the crucifix there early in the first round, and um, it, you decided to pass the half guard. And I was just wondering, uh, you know, if there was something you saw there or something you were trying to set up, and uh, you know, why, why you left such a dominant position? Oh, well, he, he was moving, and I was just trying to make sure I maintained control. The main thing down there, I was just trying to make sure I maintained control, get him tired, land some elbows, and hold him down, keep him down. That was really the uh, main idea down there. Okay. Hey, Tyrell, uh, unfortunately, you know, the, uh, an unfortunate end to the, uh, for, uh, your fight right now, uh, you know, Tim Johnson was just uh, announced to be fighting Chuck Congo uh, for, uh, in the first event in Paris. Uh, are you going to be looking closely at that fight and how it turns out? And will you be looking at Tim Johnson or Chuck Congo as a future opponent? Uh, I don't think Tim wants to fight me again. You know, um, so no, I'm not, if, unless they tell me Tim is my next opponent, I have no reason to care what he does.